Minecraft is a beautiful game. It has been around in one form or another for over 11 years at the time of making this. In that time, it has changed so much as to be almost unrecognizable from its earliest development versions. Yet for many of us, it remains and has always been a beautiful, ever-growing beacon of creativity and joy. As wonderful as it is that it has come so far, there is always merit in looking back, for nostalgia's sake, as well as just as an exercise in seeing change. Now, I'm not a Minecraft historian. My most off-sited resource for these things is still the Minecraft wiki. There are countless YouTubers out there who have dug deep into the history of the game far better than I ever could, if you really want to get down to the nitty-gritty. But I want to step back in time in a different way. I want to go back in Minecraft time and live there. I want to travel back to the early alpha days, start a brand new world, and live and play Minecraft through the ages, one update waypoint at a time. Of course, some of the most remarkable changes to the game have been in the world generation mechanics. Some of these updates could be observed by traveling to faraway lands, while others require a whole new world to experience. As such, we will have to be nomadic peoples, traveling from world to world as we explore the game's many changes. But with a little magic to help smooth the transitions, it will be well worth our time. If all of this sounds interesting to you, come and join me in my new series, Minecraft Through the Ages, beginning in Alpha version 1.0.15. For Minecraft veterans, it should be a wonderful, nostalgic journey to the past. For the newest generation of players, perhaps it will be a bit educational to see the old days in play. And for everyone else, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun along the way. Of course, savvy gamers may know that Alpha version 1.0.15 came out in August of 2010, 15 months after the first tech test of Cave Game. So why start so late? Well, I have a few reasons. For one thing, starting earlier than InfDev would not give us a whole lot to do. Uh, the earliest versions of the game are hardly worth videos on their own, let alone a place in a long-running series. And as far as starting so far into Alpha itself, it gives us a good amount of content to work with. So looking forward, what's the game plan? We start in Alpha version 1.0.15. From there, periodically, we will jump forward to the next waypoint. Waypoints are updates that are not necessarily consecutive, but between one waypoint and the next, a noteworthy amount of changes will have occurred. Often these waypoints will not be major updates themselves, but rather bug fix updates following one or more major updates. This way we can have a fair amount of time with each set of changes, rather than constantly adding minor insignificant updates. I want to point out that at its heart, this will be a Minecraft survival series. While there will certainly be many callbacks to favorite YouTubers and other memories of my own, and I invite all viewers to share their own memories, it is going to be its own survival let's play. The journey through the ages will hopefully add some spice and joy, and let us experience some of the older styles of play. But this is not going to be a curated tour through Minecraft's history. There are many of those around YouTube if that's what you're looking for. Anyway, I hope this sounds intriguing to you. I certainly am excited. If you are as well, then come along and join me in my journey through the ages. Season 1, Minecraft Alpha.